applications for uh, running a restaurant. So the first application I've got on the screen at the moment, in fact I've got two copies on the screen, this is the application that the front of staff, uh, sorry, front of house staff would use, so your waiters and waitresses, and this replaces the traditional notebook and pencil. So instead of um, writing down the orders, the orders are recorded on a mobile phone size device, something that they can slip in their pocket when they need their hands free to actually uh, carry uh, plates and drinks and things to the table and then when they're taking another order they can slip it out of their pocket and get on with uh, taking more orders. So let's have a little look. So once we open the application up we get a list of all of the customers for today. So this is just today's information that we show by default. Uh, and we haven't had any customers in yet today. We've only just opened so we'll hit the plus button for our first customer. So our first customer has come in. We can either take their name um, or we could just take the table number, whichever way we prefer to work. The time is recorded automatically uh, and we can uh, apply a discount now or we can apply a discount any time up to the point when they actually pay. So let's hit the tick. So now we're going to see the details of our customer. Um, and in the lower half of the screen we're going to see the order that they have placed. So they haven't ordered anything from the menu yet, so let's do that now. I'm going to click on the little menu icon, and that takes us into the menu page where across the top of the screen we've got some menu categories. And when we click on a menu category, we then get the list of items underneath it appearing in the lower half of the screen. So let us uh, place some orders now. So I would like to start with a drink. I'm going to have a, a Diet Pepsi. So once I've selected the item, I can set how many to order. And as we select how many to order, you can see that the price is being uh, calculated automatically there. OK, so I've started with a drink. I'm now going to move on to an appetizer. And I'll have a main course as well. Okay, so that's quite uh, quite quick and simple for the for the staff to take the orders. When we click to come back out of the menu, that will take us back into the summary for the customer, and in that summary, we will see uh, exactly what they have ordered with the quantities, with the price, uh, with the total price there showing at the at the bottom of the screen. Uh, a quick note: when we're in the web player, sometimes um, uh, these menu items, if they go over multiple lines, don't show very clearly. It works fine on the mobile devices, it's just when we're in the web emulator that it um, doesn't quite show as it should do sometimes. Okay, so if we come out of there, we can see our list of customers, so just the one customer so far. Uh, now we've got another member of staff on duty, so when they come in and they click on the button to start the application, they're going to see the details of the customers' uh, orders that have already been taken. They can take their own orders. see over here the table six hasn't shown up yet there are various things that would um, that would trigger um, table six showing up such as going in and out of another order or you can just press the, the refresh button to make sure you're looking at the latest information so either of our members of staff can now make additions to any of the orders that have already been placed so that's a great bonus for the customer. The customer hasn't got to wait for their specific waiter or waitress to be available. They can just flag down any um, member of the waiting staff uh, and that member of staff will be able to see their order and modify their order as required. So let's go in and we'll add uh, an appetizer for table six. And they're gonna have some fries. So when it comes time to pay for the order, again, any member of staff can, uh, can, can see the, the payment details. 
So let's go in, um, so over here, on. there we are, so we can see all of the items that were ordered and then we can go in and we can make payment. So when we make payment, as I say, we can apply a, a discount if we want to, so the discount gets calculated automatically. Hopefully our customers are going to uh, pay in full, so we've got a button where we can just tap to say pay in full rather than have to type out the, the full payment. And there's a change calculator as well, so maybe this customer pays 200, we can see that their change should be 33. So the change calculator, this doesn't get stored anywhere, it's just very quick double checking your mental maths to make sure that you're giving your customer the correct change. So we'll hit the, the tick on here. And we can now see that table six has paid. Uh, and we've got a little uh, running total at the bottom of the screen to say, right, this is how much money we have taken. This is how many orders we have completed all the way through to payment. So that's the part of the, the application uh, which is all to do with taking orders. Having taken the orders, well, someone's obviously got to, uh, to cook them. So we've got another part of the solution, which is for the kitchen staff. So let's just bring this up on the screen now. So this application is targeted at a tablet-sized device which can be put on the wall of the kitchen. And as orders are taken by the, uh, by the staff in the front of house, then the kitchen staff can see those orders. So we can see these orders for T6 and T4. This list refreshes. So it refreshes, um, the default is every 60 seconds, but we can set it to anything we like. So for this demonstration, I've taken it down to, to 30 seconds. So if I now add something to one of these orders, I'll add something to the table four order. Uh, what shall we have? Let's have a burger. Let's have two of those. So what we should see over in the kitchen staff application, the next time it refreshes, is we should get a burger added to the list. So there we are. So we can see uh, the items uh, that the or the orders that are being taken, and they appear here. Uh, we've got a little flag against our menu items to say whether they're prepared by the kitchen or not. So only the things that the kitchen would prepare get sent to the kitchen to, to look at on this screen. So for example, our drinks don't appear on here. This is just the things for the kitchen staff to prepare. Uh, the kitchen staff can mark when they have started preparing an item. So once they've done that, when the front of house staff go into that order, they will see that it's been highlighted or that line has been highlighted. So the kitchen staff have started making the fries. So if this customer wants to change their order of fries or remove their order of fries, then we ought to double check with the kitchen first. So this is just enforcing a bit of communication between the front of house staff and the kitchen staff. We don't want the kitchen staff starting to prepare something uh, and then the front of house staff modifying the, the quantity or removing the item because it's going to cause confusion. Okay, so that's all our stuff to do with uh, placing orders and the kitchen staff um, getting those ready. I have another little piece of the equation which is inventory. So in our database backend what we've done is we have set up a number of stock items and we've said how much each of our menu items uses of the stock items. So it's a basic bill of materials set up. So we've got something here where we can check on our stock. So here are our stock items. We've got the estimated stock that we have at the moment and we've got a reorder quantity. 
so we can see all of the things that we're getting low on so anything where the stock quantity is less than the reorder quantity is something that we need to be keeping an eye on okay this is just going a little bit slowly let me just refresh the uh, the screen because that window has been sitting waiting for me to be ready for it okay so that's uh, refreshed now so we can see we've got some things which are below the reorder quantity or we can show everything we can record a goods in so when we do that we can see okay these are the previous um, quantities that we've recorded uh, receiving so each time we can put in a quantity and we can put in the purchase cost and we can also do a stock check that's represented by the tick so we can confirm what our current quantity is when we do our stock checks and then what the system will do is it will say okay since the most recent stock check how many goods in have we received and it will increase that quantity and then how much have we used because of our sales and it will reduce that quantity so that we've always got an estimate of how much we've currently got available to us Okay. so another thing that we will just show quickly so this isn't power apps this is power bi but because all of our information is going into our database in the cloud our azure sql db database then straight away uh, available to us are all kinds of charts and analysis so here we've got sales value by day uh, and by those menu categories we can see things like the sales quantity by category the sales item by category all sorts of different analysis that we can apply on here uh, and as a in addition to um, graphs and charts we can uh, we can show some matrices so we've got some matrices here by day by the uh, menu category what was our value of sales is the top half and the lower half is our actual quantity okay so that's the restaurant application I uh, hope you enjoyed that if you have any questions or any comments then um, please let me know. Okay, thanks very much.